Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about radio buttons in Java GUI. So let's start. So I have created this project in which I have this uh, example class and this man method. So we will start. Uh, first we will create a, a constructor of this class. So I'll use public uh, example examples and then I'll put curly braces here now we will create a, a j frame so j frame uh, frame space frame equals new j frame and now I'll put uh, parenthesis and semicolon now we have created a j frame now we need this j frame when this is uh, shown and then we close we want to exit this so for that we will use frame dot set default close operation and here i will use j frame dot exit on close now we will set the bounds for this uh, j frame uh, so i'll use frame dot set bounds this one and i will use here 100 100 and here i will use uh, 500 it is the width and this is the height 500 now we have to show this uh, j frame so frame dot sit visible and it will become true now if we make this false so it will not be visible and it uh, if we make this true then it will be visible now if i run this uh, project right now so you can see that uh, the frame is not showing up because we haven't called this class inside this main method so i'll uh, use uh, examples example equal new examples under space and now if i put semicolon here and now if i run this now you can see a j frame is shown here now i will close this and now we will add uh, a label into it so j label but first we will uh, uh, cost this uh, j frame to or get the content of this j frame in a container so container container equals uh, frame dot get content pen semicolon and now we will use uh, uh, allow out on this uh, container so container dot set layout and here i will pass null we for now we are using null layout so uh, it will show uh, the label or the radio button and the exact position that we show or we gave it to it so now i will create a j label so j label uh, label the cell is capital so label label equals new j label and here i will pass on the text that i want to show on this label so select gender and now i'll put semicolon here and uh, now i'll give some bounds to this uh, label so label dot set bounds uh, this one so i will use bounds uh, 100 and uh, 20 and uh, 200 for uh, width and for height i will use uh, uh, 30 and now if i run this but first i have to add it into the container to show this label so container dot add 
component and here I will add a label and now if I put semicolon here and if I run this now you can see this select gender um, label is shown here now we will uh, show two radio buttons male and female below this so I'll close this and um, I'll make some space in and this here now I'll add in a radio button so J radio button um, BTN equals new J radio button and now I'll put uh, here mail and now I'll put semicolon here and uh, now I have to import this so I'll uh, go here and import J radio button which is in the swing Java X dot swing package now I'll also set bounds to this uh, button so I'll uh, declare this globally this J radio button so J radio button and here I will use BTN comma BTN 2 so this will become BTN and we have to create the second one also so that will become BTN 2 so I'll make this BTN and now I'll uh, BTN dot set bounds uh, this one and now I'll provide some bounds so I'll use uh, 120 here and uh, 70 and here I will use um, 80 and 20 so these are the bounds and now I'll add it into the container so container dot add and uh, I'll use a btn and now I'll put semicolon here now this is showing an error here because we haven't put semicolon here now if I run this it will show us a radio button as well now this is the radio button now if I click on this it, it can be selected and unselected now I'll close this and now I will copy this radio button and uh, we will add it uh, another time see and now I'll control V this now I'll make this button 2 uh, 2 2 and 2 and now I'll make this uh, female and now I'll change these bounds to so we will ch change only this uh, bound to 10 because we uh, want to move this on x axis we want it uh, on y axis at the same level as this uh, radio button and with the same width and same height now if I run this now we can see two radio buttons but if I select this and I select this so I can select both of them so a radio button in radio buttons uh, you can select only one in multiple because gender can only be male or female now I'll close this and I will add uh, radio group and we will add these radio buttons to that radio group so uh, group button or button group button group control space now if I go down group equals new button control space and uh, group semicolon and now I will add these uh, button 1 and button 2 to this group so group dot add uh, btn and group dot add btn to and now I'll put semicolon here and now if I run this and now if I select this one and now if I select this one this will automatically uncheck and now if I select this one so now I can select only one of these two now I will add in another label J label I will copy the the code of this J label and I will control C this and uh, I'll control V it here and now 
I'll make this label two, label two, and label two. Now I'll change the bounds as well. So I'll make this 100 as well. This is bound, uh, and this is 200, and this will become um, 50, and uh, or 30 is enough. The height. Now I'll make this global. So I'll copy this from here. Control C and now I'll remove this and I will go to the top and I'll paste it here and now I'll put a semicolon here and now if I run this but I have to change the text as well so I'll make this selected gender is and now if I run this now you can see this label now when we select this or this it will be shown in this uh, label this selected gender is so I'll close it down and now we will add action listener to this these radio buttons so I'll go to top and now here I will implement um, action control space listener and now it will ask me to implement all abstract methods so implement all abstract methods now when I implement all abstract method a new method will be created here action performed so uh, now right now if I run this so it will not work if I select any button because we haven't added uh, this action listener to this button so for that I will come to the class here and I will add uh, here btn dot add action listener and this and similarly we will use btn2 dot add action listener and this as well now we have added so now I will go to this uh, action perform method and we have to code here so so here I will use if um, arg 0 dot get source equals equals um, btn then what I will do um, uh, label two dot set text text and here I will use a uh, uh, selected gender is or colon and then I will concatenate um, btn dot get text and if org zero dot get source equals equals button two btn two then do what curly braces and uh, I'll copy this copy this control C this and now I'll control V it here and now I'll make this button 2 now if I run this I have to close this because it is already running so close and now if I run this now the project is running so if I select this male selected the gender is male and now if I select this female selected gender is female so I think that's all for today. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.